Good afternoon and namaste. I'm a 17-year-old high school student from New Delhi, India, and about 20 months ago, I was interning at an agricultural company where I was working in the marketing division. This gave me an opportunity to travel to the remotest parts of my country, India, where I met farmers who were going through a rough phase of life due to lack of water. This triggered me to think of a long-term solution where I could help people grow their own food. Now let's get real. I am one of 1.3 billion people on Earth that live in India. I represent one-sixth of the global population. It is the second most populous country in the world. Almost 55% of my population depends on agriculture, and almost 43% of, of the land in my country is under cultivation, out of which only 21% depends on, in, on irrigation. The rainfall decides the fate of the farmers. However, due to prolonged droughts in my country, even erratic and uneven rainfall has become valuable to them. As the population continues to grow, issues of water and food scarcity tend to rise. Water scarcity isn't only a challenge from where I come from, it's happening right here in California. The state remains in the midst of its worst drought. It's a crisis that persists. Water is essential to all life on this planet. We need water for the growth of our foods. As there is no substitute for water, there is no substitute for food. Our planet cannot survive without water. It's the new oil. I believe our greatest failure in the crisis is the fact that we're just reading about it and the fact that we're just settling for reading. What if I gave you an opportunity to grow your own food besides giving it to the specialists? I know that not a lot of us have room for soil and dirt in our homes, but we all have unutilized spaces that lie wasted with no real purpose. I'm talking about your windowsills, balconies, and gardens. What if I told you that you can use these spaces to grow your own food with as much as a glass of water daily? So let me introduce you to a way to grow your own food and that it saves up to 85% of water while doing so, and it also is a fun activity for everyone to see their food grow from themselves and to know where it comes from. Most of us think soil is imperative for plant growth, but that is not true. The main role of soil is merely to provide a support to the plants and be a medium through which plants can receive nutrition and water. Soil also has some beneficial organisms such as Azitobacter and Bacillus species. On the flip side, soil also has some harmful organisms such as nematodes and harmful bacteria and fungi that cause massive damage to the plants. Soil also has weeds that not only hamper the growth of the plants, but also compete with the plants for nutrition, sunlight, and water. Why don't we think of a medium where we can grow plants without soil? Soilless agriculture can be performed and established anywhere as it isn't largely dependent on land, space, or fertility. Soilless agriculture addresses many of the concerns we now have about tr traditional agriculture. Therefore, soilless agriculture is the way of the future growing in so many parts of the world. I read about the water crisis in India, which resulted in many farmer suicides, and I was moved by the fact that the issue of water scarcity isn't a problem for my country, it's a global problem. I've had no farming experience myself, but I was relentlessly curious on how we could all have an impact while using this technique. I found it crazy that there was a solution out of my own home using less space and even lesser water. So, I immersed myself in a year-long experimentation procedure of creating the right growing media. The growing media consisted of vermicompost, coco peat, perlite, and certain biological fertilizers and multiple combination of these the mix of which gave me the best result. I set up two different systems. One miserably failed while the other worked. <laughs> the composition which I created can hold large amounts of water and therefore the plants need to be watered less frequently. The composition also provides nutrition to the plants for effective growth. According to a study done by Premier Agricultural University in my country, India, of a southern state in, of Tamil Nadu, the research told me that 
the composition is capable of providing NPK or nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium for the plant which it needs for its growth. The composition is also free from any soil-borne diseases or pests. My breakthrough came when I had the idea to develop a vegetable growing kit based on hydroponics. The kit which I developed had some seeds, micronutrients, and certain low dosage biopesticides in case of any airborne diseases. The kit consisted of grow bags made of HDPE, high density polyethylene, to grow leafy vegetables such as fenugreek, spinach, coriander, and to grow vegetables such as tomatoes, cucumber, carrots, and eggplant. In land-based farming, the amount of water consumed does not significantly help the plant in any way, as a huge amount of that water is lost due to evaporation. In a soilless and controlled growing environment, the amount of water can not only be monitored, but also be controlled efficiently to utilize only what's needed. So, we now have a system that saves up to 85% of water and can be implemented in a small square foot size thus encouraging a do-it-yourself movement of scaling and personalizing homegrown farms. Can you imagine having rows and rows of these grow bags growing vegetables using the soilless medium? With ample space and inclination, communities could grow their own food using the soilless medium, and excess produce could be then sold to markets. So, with we can foster our own communities using this medium. Now, let us think creatively, and instead of stacking the bags horizontally, why not stack them vertically of our unused spaces of our homes, where we can grow maybe double or triple the amount of grow bags in a space of 10 by 4 feet? You may be wondering, what is the upkeep of this technique, or do I need a green thumb to apply this? My answer is no. All you need is a little will and inclination to look after the plants and water them when the composition appears to be dry. Can you imagine the amount of water we'll save if we start using this technique? Hydroponics or soilless agriculture does not waste water. If well managed, it saves our most precious resource. I believe the greatest failure, as I mentioned before, is that we're just reading about the water crisis and we're just settling for reading. I want you to bridge the gap between personal capability and communal action. I urge you to rethink your place as social actors in the food system. And I urge you to become the leaders of tomorrow for the generations ahead of us who need water as much as we do. Let us do our part to end the water crisis. And what more do we need than a kit of hydroponics to start with? and let us rediscover the value of homegrown foods. Can you imagine one day when we're inhabiting Mars, the cold desert planet with no liquid on its surface, we may need to grow our own food using soilless agriculture that uses a minimal amount of water. The future lies in our own hands. Thank you.